known as Stellenbosch Makoti. She's known as a person that has never, I've never had her. Uh, I've never had this person speaking anything bad about Ramaphosa. So yesterday, Ramaphosa addressed the nation and she responded to that. Her response doesn't come as a shock, considering the fact that I have never had this person saying anything opposed to Ramaphosa, nor criticizing Ramaphosa. So whatever she said today really doesn't come as a shock, but it's just a confirmation of her stand on the matter. Wait, who are we talking about? We are talking about Tulima Donzela. Tulima Donzela, out of everyone that commented about Ramaphosa's speech, out of everyone, this person remains, says that the speech was great. Ramaphosa spoke. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, what did he say? What is it that Ramaphosa said which he has never promised before? He's, Ramaphosa, when he was appointed as a president, I'm going to insert the video, don't worry. When Ramaphosa was appointed as a president, the first time he said, two weeks, a few weeks, if not a month and a half, he promised how he's going to create jobs. Uh, three weeks, if not a month after his inauguration, he he then told, told people people are gonna lose jobs. Uh, December two thousand and twenty-three, Ramaphosa says there's gonna be end of low trading. January, there was stage six. There was gonna be end of low trading in December. January, people are not gonna experience low trading. January, there was stage six. Ramaphosa promised smart seats when he was in, the, in his first term. Even, look, look he, he, we finished the first term, no smart seats. Now, he started campaigning using the same thing. He's going to build smart seats. Ramaphosa said he was going to end load trading. He wanted 18 months. He couldn't. Load trading persist. He asked another 18 months. He couldn't load trading persist. The Minister of Electricity was appointed. He asked 18 months. He couldn't. 18 months came to pass. Even now, you can't say you have ended load trading because now they are starting to blame the municipalities for load reduction. So what promise has Ramaphosa ever made and kept? It's a question of the day. I... No, you will keep your promise because I'm going to ask you to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay now before we can play the video ga, ga you're gonna have to tell me except the 350 grant what even the 350 by the way there are problems other people are saying their 350 just stopped coming into their bank accounts without them being told what's the reason. Others are no longer getting 350. Others, they qualify to get 350, but because somebody happens to send a thousand rand into their bank account, they are no longer receiving 350. 
Nobody is there to explain to them why. So even if you want to say they kept that 350 promise, but it's not even true. It's not a true reflection of the situation on the ground. Well, take a look at what Tulema Tozala said here. I endorse the president's address. It had all of the motives for what he needs to build a united nation, but his anchor in social justice, shared prosperity, shared prosperity and human well-being. Once I got a sense that there was good attention to building an economy that covers everyone, that grows with everyone, but also covering all the world being of our people, anti-poverty, GDP, and just rising everyone to the level of, of human beings. What we say Ubuntu, Ubuntu is not just about economic well-being, it's about social well-being as well. Mm -hmm. what would you say about the opposition's opinion that this uh, is a, a sellout by the ANC? Uh, well, the truth is, the people of South Africa did not give the ANC the mandate to govern alone. And we could call it misfortune, or we could call it an accident of history. And the president's interpretation was that this is our reality. But it gives us an opportunity to collaborate and build a society that works for everyone, but also a society that addresses the wounds of the past. Nobody can attack him on the grounds that he did not talk about taking the process forward from where Mandela left it, which is making sure that the wounds of apartheid, economic and social, are healed. But what I like about this speech, for once, I often feel that the social justice first is left to the historically dispossessed. But for once, he made this message to everyone. And I saw the body language from all the benches saying yes, yes. Which means for once, we own our inequality we, together. We own our poverty together. And we have an opportunity to fix it. Okay, so so the speech can be great according to Tulima Tonsela, but for me, the speech is not great when the actions are actually uh, 360 opposed to the action. The speech can be great. You know, we all know when we, cannot, we, we, all, we all can agree politicians lies. Politicians lies a lot. But we can't, that's why when I said, when you choose a politician or a political party, you are not, it's not a choice between a saint and a devil. It is just, to, it's, it's a choice on one part, on the left part being the devil. Remember I said, it's not a choice between a saint and, um, a, 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 and look, a, a non-Christian. You are just choosing a better Devil. You are looking for a better devil amongst devils. That's political. That's politicians. So I'm not trying to excuse politicians. Politicians lies a lot. But some politicians still have got the audacity of being inaugurated. In their inauguration, which just happens a few weeks ago, they repeat the first things they promised. You can't be listening to the speech of a person who still promised promise to build smart seats. You haven't even started. Where are you building the smart seats? Where are they going to be? Alexandra. They were promised one million houses. Long time ago. Unprovoked. Somebody promised them one million houses. When they were held accountable over their, a promise they made unprovoked. Guess what they said? We never promise you that. How do you even glorify such a speech, a speech made by a person who can lie with a straight face and tell you that, um, I never promise you that. And then you bring a recording and then they change and they say, no, it was actually a figmentation. Like they change. You see, this is black. This color is black. There's people who will tell you this color is not black. It's dark, but not black. That's the ANC. 
That's what Phil and Balula was saying. Nah, this is not black. This is dark. You know, it's a dark color, but it's not black. You are denying an, a something that cannot be denied. Denying a pure lie. What we're saying is, you, you, you become a better devil if at least out of your lies, at least we can find, you know, five out of ten things you lied about have been, look, you have come to fruition. Then we say, hi, we can look at you, shame, hi. Guys, out of ten things that Ramaphosa ever promised people, how many has he kept? How many has he fulfilled? So whether he speaks nice or whatever, that man does not deserve any credit until he proves himself. Because so far he has failed to prove himself. Like, I keep asking people, what has Ramaphosa done? And those are some of the questions that people are not, are not able to answer me when I say, oh, you can get angry. It's fine. You are emotionally high. Very It makes sense for you to be emotionally high. Especially if you are attached to the ANC. But I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you a very simple, basic, yet fundamental question. What has Ramaphosa done to such an extent that a person on the ground, down there at the taxi rank, somewhere at Alex, is feeling the impact of Ramaphosa's presidency? What has the man done? That's the question that I want you to answer in today's episode. I want to leave it here with the hope that you're definitely going to do the right thing and answer me in the comment section below. Oh, my God. Oh, Tito. <laughs>